for, uh, okay, there you go. Thank you. Um, so there's a lot that's happening in our website. Maybe you're not aware, or maybe you're aware. Uh, when you become a member or when you register for the conference, you have a profile. You have one more password that you have to remember. And the more information that you put in that profile, the easier it's going to be for everybody else to answer questions that come up in the list of like, who else is using Archivist? As who else uses Famous? Uh, how many people work in GIS or in space? Uh, those are questions that come up often on our listserv, and that information is available through our website. So Anne's going to go and show you my profile. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, am, I am in as Maria to show you a campus profile. Okay. So if um, you can, yes. Go ahead. You want me to jump in? Yes. So she's, okay. gonna, she's, she's still um, studying as me. There has, uh, there's also been a little refresh that our software um, provider uh, did. So this, when you log in at the top, you can log in, go to our website and log in. I think you saw the first page where I did that. Um, you'll come into your profile. And as Maria mentioned, you know, a name with a face, which is great. Make sure you add your picture because when you go to the conference, um, then it's easy to find people. Uh, just as she mentioned, all this information is in here. And it's as good as what you put into it. So we really, really encourage you to update it because people can find you similar like positions, uh, same state, what systems you use, um, the size of your campus, do you have remote campuses? All this information is so valuable to make connections within the directory and we'll get to that. So you can also look at your past invoices if you've got um, your, um, Admin is asking for that invoice for you to submit. You can just go right to your profile and pull it if you can't find the email. And someone said that can't see your screen. Go ahead. Someone said that they, you can't, they can't see the screen. You're still on the conference. Can everybody else see the screen? We can nope. see the conference. Okay, hold on. We're gonna do this again. And we're gonna do, now can everybody see it? Yes. There you go. Yay. Thank you for jumping in and let us know. Technology, right? <laughs> um, if you have been a member for a long time and you put your picture and you don't look like that anymore, please stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Update. Yeah. So sorry. When you pull up your profile, these are all the attributes you can fill out when you log in. And um, as I mentioned, what you put into it is what you're going to get through connection. It's so important never um, to find folks through this information. Yes. So, and like Maria said, your picture, um, invoices, that admin's asking for your invoice to submit. You can go here rather than digging through your email. Forms you've taken, that is registration. So what conferences did you go to? What other um, events have you registered for? Um, within CFTA. And email history is a really awesome feature. Uh, you all get messages from us, and which include, for example, our members get the private link for our water coolers with the exception of this one. And you know what? You deleted that email. Well, you can go here and see all those messages that were sent. So, oops, I need to register. You can go and see these past messages. You can see ones that you've sent or opened or not opened yet. So, and then, of course, like any profile, it's pretty straightforward. You can reset your password. Um, I imagine there'll be uh, some of you that need to do that after today's call, which is fine. Um, I do find if you've got a password management system or like any, I know it's one more password to remember. If you just save it, it makes it so much easier. I know uh, we're all been there with lots of things. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, so good for you to manage your profile. And then... Any questions? I think what we're going to do is just have, if we have any quick questions as we go through each section, answer those. And then if it's a more lengthy question, at the end, we will follow up and open a forum for answering those questions. So does anybody have a quick question uh, on the profile and navigating and editing your profile? It looks different if you've been here for a while. If not, make sure. Hopefully you're all in there now updating. <laughs> So Maria, I'll turn it back to you. Okay. Actually, you were going to go through the directory. Yep. I'll go through the directory next. Yes. Cool. So what can you do? So you updated your web, your profile. Now what? 
you can find people. And how do you do that? I think Anne was gonna do that. You're not sharing anymore. I am now because I got I had to switch off. Oh. Just a second. Okay. So when you're in your profile or anywhere, when you're logged in, you'll know you're logged in because this will tell you to log out. Um, go back to home and my CFTA will take you back to this landing page that we started with. So home, my CFTA will take you back to the landing page. On this landing page, we list out all of our quick links and member benefits and any news. From here, the directory. So you can pull up campus members and that'll pull everyone. You can pull up your business partners and that'll pull everyone. But where your bread and butter is really in your advanced search. So I'll show you here a brief, um, for many of you in other associations or other memberships are familiar with a directory. So it's very similar. You can search by name. So you're on this water cooler and somebody shares something and you remember their name with Joe, but you don't know anything else about them. I'm gonna put Joe in after that water cooler because I wanna ask him some more questions. And here I can find his email and information on his campus. So um, let me see. Let's the more you update, the more information you have. The more you can find. The Obviously, the more you can find. State, you want to find um, somewhat down here is drop down information on campus information. So it's like, you know what? I want to find another campus that is about the same size as mine. So I'm going to go here and say three to 5.9 million square feet. And, you know, I'm a public public institution. I want to ask them some questions, too, about what's going on. Um, um, so I'm going to go to my budget source. I'm sorry, funding, public. Those are my two search criteria. That's all I have because I want to find out. So I'm going to search. And I'm going to find there are 14 folks with similar size campuses with that are public. And I'm going to look through here and see and I can find additional information when I click in their profiles. So you can see it's as much as you put into it. You want, you definitely want to update your profile. So I can go back to show search criteria to get me back to that menu. I am, let's say I want to find a certain GIS software that people do. Okay, well, we'll, we'll use Esri, for example. All right, so I'm going to add Esri in here. I want to find out who all uses Esri. Everybody. Sorry. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put that in there. And there are 42 folks within our membership that have Esri listed. Now, there may be more, but if you don't list that, that's not going to come up. But all these folks use Esri. So that's going to give you a clue in to that. So exactly right. Our business, so I go back to search criteria and I want to find out I'll first say you can look at our business partner, individual business partners back here, as I mentioned, but you can also, and this is open to everyone, I just want to make sure that everyone realizes that our, our this is public, even if you're not locked in, all of our business partners are right here. So I just want to make sure and all their link to their website and, and all that they offer. Our campus members are on a map. And this is public. So if you want to see for our business partners and our campus members want to see all institutions, we have 80 total institutions with multiple people from those institutions that are members. And we have our map here that Pamela on the board uh, keeps updated. Sorry, I got a little happy here. So um, just want to let you know that this is another update that we've recently done, which is very useful to find other folks and what campuses are within our organization. It continues to grow. So that's exciting as well. So I'm in that, I wanna get back. My CFTA is where it's gonna take you. So just one last thing. Okay, I went through there. I wanna to talk to somebody at, at CAD Microsystems. I really wanna talk about them, I need help. I'm gonna go and put in CAD. Also keep in mind, just like many things, five people from the same organization or university may enter everything different. So less is more I find on this search engine. So I just wanna show you I'm going to look up and see who who from CAD Micro can I reach out to. 
Well, I've got their account executive. I've got their present CEO. I've got Justin. I've got TJ. I met TJ at the conference. Here's his email. I can reach out to him. So this directory is a great tool to connect with other folks within our membership and our business partners for solutions. So um, I think that little demo gives you kind of an idea. You can take it, navigate it um, as you want, but you will find if you put too much in, you may not get anything because people enter things differently. But um, the drop down menus are also very helpful because those are all simple. Any questions, uh, quick questions on this piece? And if you want to raise your hand or if you have something in the chat and Pamela and Deborah want to let us know, or if you just want to take your turn your mic off mute, um, we're happy to answer those questions. There is a question about getting an error message for one of the login buttons, but I think we'll have to look into that yeah, if, afterwards. If, if, yeah, if, as people get, as you all get in your profiles and trying to reset passwords and those things, I anticipate there might be um, some questions. If you want to email me, and screenshots are always helpful, at association at cfta.org or email any of our board members, we'll, we'll connect and, and I'll, I'll look at it from the back end and get you set up. Okay. And I'll just kind of echo what um, Maria and answer earlier it would be really helpful for you know all of us if you guys really do take the time to edit your profile because like i said when other members because like like we learned that um at you know our last conference we had a lot of new members that are you know are new to cfta so you know the more that we can provide information about ourselves the more it kind of gives them access of who they can reach out to, to learn more about you know, challenges they, they may be having, you know, and kind of can help them and yourself out to kind of, you know, create that, you know, um, that dialogue uh, back and forth um, between you and, you know, whatever things you guys have done to, you know, um, you know, get over a challenge you may have. So it would be, it's really good if you could take the time to update those profiles with your pictures or whatever, and just the basic information about your institution. All right, well, I think that's that for the directory, right? And yes. Okay, so I'm going to uh, talk about a few other things that we uh, have on our website. Some of them are open to everybody, other are available just to uh, members. So next we have the calendar. So like I said, in the past, CFTA has mostly been all about the conference. So in the last, since last year, we're trying to engage Throughout the year, we've added these water coolers um, and those are on a calendar now. Uh, we also try to add like S3 partner conference. So if any of our uh, business partners or partners are having a conference or they're offering a webinar, you know, uh, S3 had a lot of webinars during the pandemic. We'll try to add those on the calendars the same. Uh, our conversation next week with Deborah, the Allenton Award, uh, webinar is listed in there. So, you know, if you deleted the email and you can't find them, like I forgot to register for this, you can always go to our website. Uh, and with the exception of the water cooler, which are only open to members, everything else should have a link for you to register. Um, so if you've deleted your email about their presentation next week, here's where you can find that and you can register and hopefully we'll see you. Uh, she had really cool things that they're doing at her school. So be there next week. Um, so this, this calendar is open to everybody. Uh, we also have information about the conference. So right now we are about to open abstract, um, abstracts, I think next month, and slowly as we get closer to August, we'll start adding more and more information about the conference, uh, who's presenting, what the topics are. Um, so right now we're just showing we're going to be in Washington, uh, in St. Louis at Washington University, but uh, Keep going back to this website if you need information about the hotel. If you once you know we open registration and things like that, well, this is open to yeah. everybody. Yeah. Yep. Um, what else? A webinars already talked about that. The job board. This is something that's viewed that can be viewed by anybody. So if you're looking for a job uh, in the CFTA community, on our homepage uh, we have Ohio State hiring. They're looking for a big manager. Um, to BIM people. Uh, so if you're- That was a great boss. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> if you are a member and you have a position open right now, which I'm sure most of you do because we are all looking for people, it is free for you for members to post your positions on our website. If you're not a member, then there's some pricings that are listed on the right side. There's a 30-day list in pricing, 60-day, 90 days, uh, and there are different options. But if you are a member, you can post your job. I actually posted a job which we're about to fill, so I was very excited. <laughs> um, yes. If I could just add in, um, our business partners are open to post a new job as well. So our business partner members, this is open to both business partners um, and our campus members. And I know there's a lot of a movement in big tech. So this is a great opportunity for people to look at both. Um, if I could just show you real quick how you post it, this, this couldn't be easier, any easier. I'm going to log in. This is your email that is tied to your profile. And I'm going to log in. And, and this, is job board. Last, this is something we added last year, right? This was not available. Before. Yeah, we added it uh, over the pan, I think two years ago. So it's a new a new a new benefit so post a job it the form couldn't be any easier and you can make it what you want um you can pay i think it's additional 25 dollars for it to even be on google jobs so you can preview your posts and then it's there um we share the link for this job board on a lot of our messaging social media linkedin um if you're not following us make sure you're following us so that, that's a huge um, place to find out the latest news also and connect so this is, couldn't be any easier to post a job and um, it's a great, you could also, um, I'm gonna log out here, but you can also, if you wanted to set alerts, you're in the job market and you wanna set alerts, you can absolutely do that. So, and you can go back to the directory and be like, I have some questions about this job I just applied. Let me see who works there that maybe I can connect with and send a note. So all that comes full circle here within the within the community. So these tools. Another another way that I've used this um, is to, sometimes people will ask, "Do you have a job description for a GIS manager?" I have I have literally gone to our website and see, "Oh, we so and so is hired for a GIS manager. Let me steal their job description. Yes. <laughs> so I can yes. use this for my own job." Yeah, so, we've yeah. seen that come up. Yeah, that's a great point, Maria. Yeah. Yes. Um, Any questions on this piece? The job board. I think it's pretty, we encourage you to keep, I love when I see like people hiring and jobs posted and, and that kind of thing. So I get alerts every time one's posted. So I encourage you um, to take a few minutes. And again, both campus members and business partners or any colleagues um, at other universities that for some reason aren't a member, they can post on our job board as well. There was a question that popped up um, mm -hmm. from Jeremy. Um, is there a way to search past postings to see job descriptions? There are not, but if you have a question, I mean, you can always email me and I'll look up there. They, they retire after the set amount of time that the, that the organization posted the job. Thank you. I was just thinking from, I was, I had that question halfway typed in when Maria mentioned that. I think that that's a great resource. Yes. Even if, you know, even if somebody wanted to hide the, you know, um, the hiring company or whatever, just having access to job descriptions would be. Yes. Useful. Yes. And I think on our a couple of ways you can go about doing that on our new member benefit that we're going to announce here at the end, you can uh, kind of ask that question to all of us are happy to help here on leadership. And, you know, if you recall, I think it was this school and 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 i i can't see it because they manage it it's user it, it's all on the use end user um side of things but um yeah absolutely we've had that question come up a lot where can you share a job description especially if it's a new role yeah great question yep all right um another benefit that i don't think most people knew it exists or it's very um underutilized is we have a library of videos and that's actually how I found out about CFTA. <laughs> um, this is so we have a YouTube channel and we have videos, we have past conference um, presentations. Um, when we have a conference, so like the 2023, the videos from the 2023 conference are available to members for a year, I think. And then after that, they become open. Uh, but this is literally how I discovered CFTA. I was, we were trying to look at getting into the whole BIM uh, path and I found Ohio State and I found Devon and I learned about CFTA and that's how I 
become active. And I don't think a lot of people know that this is there, but there's a lot of great information and a lot of great presentations on our YouTube page that's available to everybody. Nope, sorry. <laughs> I got off the YouTube page. But yes, you can access the YouTube page from our home site. And then also, I don't, um, I'm not logged in right now is why I can't access the archives. Somehow in my demo, I got logged out when I was doing the job board. So it's on the resources. Um, yeah, let me, I'm going to stop share real quick and get that back on. So I logged in. Uh, I have to assume you go back and assume you uh, as Maria. And the reason I'm doing that is because um, on the admin end, there'd be a lot of information that, that wouldn't apply and, and don't want to overwhelm you. So let me just get back in as Maria. Um, but as Maria said, the 2022 videos um, are available. That's how you can find them. Um, the message went out with that link for members only to view. Um, so you can go in your message history also. And then you can look at our YouTube channels on our website or sometimes we share that. So I encourage you, there's videos all the way back, I think 2014, 15, um, if you're looking for a specific topic. Yeah. I am back. If you want to continue on to the next thing, I am going to get back in here and share. Yes. So Nez, I'm going to announce something new that we've been kind of working on um, that we have never used in the past. So um, every time we have a water cooler conversation every month, we we'll run out of time <laughs> because there's a lot of questions. We have great conversations. And then it's like, well, we got to go because everyone has to go to another meeting, right? So we are starting or we would like to start using a feature that is available to us with the resources we have right now with this uh, website and that is forum so i'm sure you've used a forum in other organizations before and this is available uh, again only to members um so i think Anne is going to go there if you go on the community forums we're going to start creating you know, it's just kind of continuing the conversations through here. So we have a topic for water cooler deep dive. So, if, you know, if we got cut off and you really wanted to continue that conversation, just go in here uh, and post a question and then everybody will get, all members will get an email and then you can just keep talking about whatever it is, you know, asking those questions and connect them there. Um, this is going to be available only to members. Um, and I think that Julius has actually use this for the GIS task for, am I right, Julius? It was a social circles back in the day, but okay. um, they're switching well, over to forums. Well, you have a couple of things here um, on the maturity model. So, and, and Julius mentioned social circles. So if anyone navigated through that, that is no longer, um, we uh, it, have created this area as our member forums. So when you see forums, we have four forums, the water cooler deep dive. So after these water coolers, I, I, I can't, there's been so many where I, at the very end, you want to keep talking or you want to discuss things. The general discussion and inquiries where you may see people on our listserv now add things and then it keeps going. This is the best place to do this. You're logged in as a member, only members can see and you can continue those discussions. Jeremy, a great option say, you know, I need to find a, a job description for uh, this new position. This is a great area to post. Does anybody have? So within that, you can reply, you can favorite, you can follow, you can unfollow, you can manage all that through here and your profile. So many of you, it's, it's very similar to forums that I think a lot of us are familiar with, but we have this all right here within your membership. Do you have to log in to reply? Yes, but if you have, your saved login and your password safe. It's, it's simple and easy, it's secure. Um, it's a great resource. It's easier to find things historically. Um, so our annual conference will continue to share things through here. This is a place where you can ask people, you know, where's everybody getting together when they check in? Who's coming in on, on Monday and who's coming in on Sunday? And, and this is for us to share. CFTA, but also for you all to, to, to discuss the conference coming up. And the documentation is where Julius was speaking um, 
like he shared before, the um, information they've been working on with the data and the model, and you can come right here and look it up. So, and you can save it and um, open it up right here as an attachment. So this is an excellent way, resources. And so we've broken it up into those four forums and then any member can create a topic, favorite topic, reply, um, just like any implementation of, of things and things are new, there's, you know, you'll navigate through and then we'll work through that. But we're really, really excited to have um, this member forum for you all. Right, and I think so here's the attachment. I open yeah. it up right here. So it's easy to easy to find in that. So yeah, could you share there's a way um, if you don't want to see all emails, you know, like if people there's our conversation, there's a way to turn off your notifications or you only get if there's a new topic or if, if there is a reply on only like some of the topics that you want to discuss, there's a way to do that yes. as well. So I, I do have it already set for everyone that you're not going to get every like so you can manage your own. So you really want to hear every new topic or maybe you just want select topics and that's gonna pull. So, and by select topics, that's the ones that you favorite or follow. So this is where at the bottom of your profile is where you can navigate that. So, and just like when you receive emails and lists there, you can delete if you want. Um, I recommend that, especially now as we're getting started, that everybody has, you know, new topics. That's your default right now. If you find it's overwhelming, you can go and change that. I would never take this off because this is any email announcements that that we get, you get, um, that you already do. So I I would recommend that everybody leaves this default. See if it's a little too much, but as we get started here, it's a great way um, to kind of see get this thing going. So. All right, and the last thing I wanted to mention is follow us on social media. <laughs> we have a Twitter account and we have a LinkedIn page. Uh, we're pretty active on LinkedIn. Um, so there it's at the bottom of our website. Um, so that's another great way to connect um, to other people that are part of CFTA. And there's a lovely picture of Mark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and I think what's going to happen when I think it wants to log in as as me. Yeah, but LinkedIn is I think that's the issue there. Okay. So we'll see. Yeah, but LinkedIn, you know, we have over twenty eight hundred um, connections followers in there. It's a great place to connect and follow and engage. Um, I encourage for both our business partners and our campus members. Yeah, and of course that's open to everyone. So. And that's a great place to, to invite new members. We encourage you to invite um, members to join as well. Um, we're pretty, um, we are, we work hard to add these value, these ad benefits um, and make sure that we can provide an affordable membership for you. Any questions as a whole on, on all this information? Um, we have been recording this piece, so I will share the link in the forum, the member forum under that water cooler, and it'll be available um, to view if you need a refresher or need to go back. Um, one thing that popped up in the chat, we may have to visit the link for the LinkedIn because it looks like um, Wayne's yeah, going to use it and yeah, it I need to, takes them yeah, back to the web page. So, yeah. yeah, I just noticed that too. So we may have to work on that. I'll get that. That's a quick fix in the background. Yeah. But Doug, I think you're connect. You're one of those that's connected and share. So thank you. Um, but I'll get that. Um, I'll stop sharing. I'll get that fixed right now. Yep. So, um, but like Ann said, I mean, this is a. Um, we turn the recording off. So yeah. So if there's any questions, um, please feel free to. Uh, 